Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and uh, without a doubt, there's blood in the streets today, and we're going to take a quick look at the market to see what's really going on out there. Uh, a lot of people panicking, a lot of fear. Um, we are due for a pullback, and uh, I would say that this is probably the first of maybe more. Uh, we've been struggling to stay above the 100 billion mark for a few days now, really going sideways without a lot of excitement, without a lot of uh, new news, um, and uh, if anything, maybe some bad things happening to some of these core coins, such as Ethereum having issues during every ICO. Uh, it just seems like it's finally starting to catch up with itself a little bit, as well as uh, some of uh, these ICOs maybe cashing out a little bit of the money as well. Um, so. I think that uh, just confidence in general is slightly shaken right now, um, but really in the whole scheme of things, it's not too big of a deal at the moment. Don't forget Ethereum was $40 not that long ago and only about $7 one year ago. So um, many of you out there don't even care what the price is right now um, of Ethereum, uh, but Bitcoin right now being down 4.6%, something to keep your eyes on for sure. Um, it dipped much lower than that today, uh, but uh, it seems to have recovered slightly. We'll see if it creeps up to 2500 again. Um, but overall today, uh, put a lot of pressure on the markets, made a lot of people think twice about what they actually want to hold. And that's what we're going to take a quick look at here. We're going to scroll through and we're just going to see what, what wasn't really affected today um, significantly. And, um, of course, in crypto, <laughs> significant is relative, um, so, or isn't, rather. Monero, 6% out of the, uh, you know, the top 10 coins. That would have been the one to uh, hide in, um, you know, if, if, as far as altcoins go. Scrolling down a little bit more. Um, looking for something that stands out. Not much here. Psycoin, uh, only down five and a half, and um, but man, notice that there's no green yet, guys. We're down to 32 coins in a row, and no green. So looking for some green. Um, USD Tether is even down. That's messed up, guys. Usually that's a safe haven, right? Usually you'll see that being up slightly. Even Tether is down right now over the last 24 hours and uh, we're continuing to go down and we finally get to Leo coin not familiar myself I'll have to check it out though because clearly it's popping on a day where everything's bleeding cloak coin at 17 um, I saw cloak coin hit over a hundred percent at one point today I'm not sure what's going on with cloak coin you can see it here it went through the roof through the roof guys for a short amount of time um, I like Cloak Coin myself. Uh, get to know Cloak Coin if you don't know it already. So, man, today is a day where you wouldn't have been safe really in anything. You would have gotten lucky if you own any of these. Burst up slightly. Of course, Burst had some quite quite some pullback as of late. So uh, maybe it's just kind of recovering from the pullbacks. Um, and then uh, Supernet, 26% up. So Supernet seems to be the winner. And how many of you guys own Supernet out there? Let me know if you own it. But that's the top 100, guys. That's rough. Um, and, uh, you know, I did a live stream a little earlier today. Check it out if you want more thoughts on uh, on this situation that's going down. Uh, definitely go check out the video. There will be a link to that video at the end of this video. Okay. Uh, EOS token ICO has begun, and um, I did cover this yesterday, but again, guys, uh, my video got corrupted, so I went to upload it, and it failed, and couldn't recover it, just an unfortunate circumstance, and I apologize for that. Uh, so we didn't get any news yesterday, and that's what everything is I'm covering right now, so I'm going to move through it rather quickly, um because there's other things I might want to uh, talk about later. So we're just going to kind of burn through these. Some of this stuff you probably um, have heard before, but maybe some of it's new to you. And uh, if anything, I'll give you my thoughts on it. Uh, but the uh, EOS ICO, 
Um, and essentially, if you're not familiar, the best way to imagine this uh, EOS ICO is that if Ethereum is like DOS, then the EOS is an operating system running on DOS, very similar to Windows, right? So um, that's the best way to think about it. The concept being is that when you run Windows and you have multiple applications running, if one of those applications blows up, your entire computer doesn't go catch on fire and blow up and, you know, it's, it goes up in smoke. <laughs> nothing, nothing completely stops, right? Just that single application stops. And that's kind of the, uh, the concept behind EOS. It's definitely um, a very, very big idea to decentralize a operating system. It's much bigger than um, I think even most of the most brilliant minds in the world can really wrap their head around. Um, but it's really, really cool. Um, that being said, um, it has it has basically a dream leader, uh, the gentleman from Steemit, and the gentleman behind BitShares is leading this project. So you have two very very successful blockchains. Um, I believe both have reached the top ten at some point in its history. Um, leading a project that may change the world uh, of blockchain technology. So, uh, very exciting. Um, things that um, I'm a little leery about on this one would be uh, some companies um, out there right now are looking to develop today. EOS won't be ready for a long time. There's going to be a lot of businesses that are deeply invested they're going to be um, all in on something like Ethereum, right? And so switching away from that and the developments and the plans that they have, I don't know how easy that might be or how difficult, but it's definitely something to consider. Definitely something to consider. Um, you know, and you just have to wonder, will devs actually switch? You know, there's huge demand right now for people who can program in Solidity to write on Ethereum, for example. Um, Will they switch? Um, or will they just go to something that's easier and more simple to use, like uh, Lisk, maybe? There's so many options now um, for different types of blockchain solutions. Um, yet this one, if, if they can pull it off, revolutionary type of technology. When it comes to this ICO, the way that I look at it personally, I'm going to give you guys a little hint on the way I think about this investment. I don't do this often, but um, and I feel like I can because I'm actually excluded, unfortunately, here in the U.S. Uh, they're not letting us in on it, um, so I can be completely transparent, give you my best advice, and not give away any hints or secrets or anything about how I'm feeling on it. Uh, basically, when it comes to EOS, investing in EOS, you have to treat it like it's the biggest opportunity of your lifetime. And you have a 1% chance of it actually happening. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that this is a true old school kind of like ICO. When you invest in this, you're going to be locked up for a year. Okay, say goodbye to your ether. Doesn't matter what the price of Ether goes up or down to, it's gone, right? So right now, Ether's at 250 bucks. This right here, if it does everything it's saying it's capable of doing, has a very real possibility of seeing thousands of times return. Uh, this is one of those opportunities where uh, you know, $250 becomes 25000 250000 I don't know. But I know it's huge return potential. Okay? Just huge. Uh, you're not going to get this many other places in life. Um, with that being said, uh, you could just flush money down your toilet. Uh, you know. <laughs> so... Invest what you're willing to go flush down your toilet right now, right? So uh, go count your ethers and ask yourself, what would I flush down the toilet right now? And that's the exact amount that you should invest here because I think you'll be happy uh, if you get the returns, but I also don't want you to be sad if it never comes to fruition. 
So that's the way that I'm looking at this one. Um, again, uh, it's going to be locked up for 341 days. Now, this is a very unique ICO in that um, it's a uh, percentage-based return on your coins. So it's not like you put in one Ether and you get a 1,000 coins. Instead, um, they offer up a fixed amount of Ether, and everyone essentially puts money into the pool and divides it up equally. For example, if uh, they offered 100 coins and you put in $90 and I put in 10, then you're going to get 90 coins and I'm going to get 10. Okay? Very simple. Um, with that being said, that means you have absolutely no idea how much money is going in or how it's going to be distributed. It's very interesting. Also, this IC, uh, ICO is not just going to end on the time you see on my screen there. Um, that, this is the initial offering. There will be an offering every single day for many days into the future, offering 2 million coins to basically be bid on. I guess it's kind of like bidding on it. I'd love to hear your guys' theories on when you think uh, you should invest to maximize the amount of coins you get. I'd love to know that. That's that's the ultimate goal, right? To figure that one out. So if you guys have any ideas on that, leave it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, you know, this is this is definitely one of those things where if you live in the U.S., you're probably wanting to call uh, some relatives or something to help you get in on this. Um, unfortunately, this one does require a little bit of tech savvy. You guys definitely need to go and do your research on how to actually participate. Be very careful. There is multiple ways to participate, multiple opportunities to participate. So don't screw it up the first time if you're not comfortable and send all your ether away. Um, maybe just do a little bit and make sure that you, it all works. And uh, that way, the next day you can add more. Okay. All right. So EOS. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's supposed to essentially be super scalable, super fast with six second block times. It is supposed to um, essentially be its own blockchain of sorts. Um, so it is gonna stand, stand alone on its own. Something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And you know, at the end of the day, guys, I feel like this, this, um, this project um, as big and as grandiose as it is, uh, I feel like they are going to try their best. Uh, you know, we have a leader in the crypto sphere leading this project with past successes. Um, and it can't be ignored. You cannot ignore the success, uh, that he's had with his other blockchains. So, um, I don't see why this would be any type of scam of any kind, because he's got plenty of money. <laughs> and he's not trying to get rich. Uh, he's definitely trying to change the world at this point. And um, that's essentially what this is trying to accomplish. This is some crazy technology. So check it out, guys. EOS. And um, that's my take on that. Next, uh, you guys probably already heard this. Vitalik sending out a tweet. He is alive. Silly rumors running around that he may be dead. It actually pushed the price of Ethereum down pretty aggressively two days ago. And then he came out and did this, showing us all which, what, what, what blockchain we're on. <laughs> Instead of saying what day and time. What a genius. What a genius guy. I, I'm looking forward to the memes. Please submit memes all over. Uh, you know, I want to see some good memes. Um, a Vitalik holding up this piece of paper. There's so many things you could do with this. I'm looking forward to it. So, um, uh, he just has such a good sense of humor, too. Um, you know, people were like, are you being held hostage? This guy down here, I'll, I'll scroll down, and he says, are you a hostage? And this guy says, how much do they want for your safe release? And he says, 250 Dogecoin. So Vitalik having a great sense of humor, um, which is a which is good to see. I I want to see Vitalik having a good a good time. 
I've mentioned it before, I just can't imagine the pressure on Vitalik to perform on behalf of so many people. We're all sitting here um, hoping that he can perform because let's face it guys, there is no face of Bitcoin. There truly isn't like a face. Uh, Vitalik is the face of blockchain technology. I, I don't care whether you like Ethereum or not, that's besides the point, right? He's a figure now, um, and there's a lot of pressure on him. I hope he's having a good time. He's out there truly trying to change the world. Um, ask yourself, would you still be working this hard if you were worth that much? He's working really hard, guys. Really hard. All right. Just give me Ether, please. Just give me Ether.com. This guy here made a little website. Just give me Ether. He's not even going to... It's an ICO, basically, um, and he's totally trolling. Uh, go for it to check it out. If you need a good laugh, share it with some friends around work. I think you all enjoy it. Just give me Ether. This ICO craze has gotten out of control, and today you saw ICO coins get hit the hardest. Almost every single one was down about 30%, um, which is more than the average um, that every, every altcoin was down. Just getting wrecked today, okay? Um, and it's rightly so. I hope people are taking their money off the table. There's absolutely no reason these projects need this much capital. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I'm very disappointed in, in a lot of the projects, too, because a lot of them where I felt like there was good leadership and things like that. Uh, basic attention token, for example, I was really excited about. I was really excited about it. Um, man, and they just continue to get greedy and increase the amount they are going to accept. While at the same time, if Ethereum's going up and up in value, and it just it got exponential essentially, how much they decided to raise, you know, things like that are just a big turnoff. Um, I don't know how any real investors out there can take any any of it seriously. So it's not good. Uh, it doesn't bode well for our ecosystem, our community, that this continues to happen. And um, seeing some reality come back to the world in the ICOs is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that today's pullback um, helps. I don't believe the pullback is over, um, personally. I can always be wrong. Uh, do not invest, sell, buy. Don't do anything because of me. I'm just telling you what I think right now. And I could think something completely different tomorrow. Because tomorrow in this uh, industry is like a year in any other. So it's uh, very easily to, uh, can, you know, things can change very easily. So anyhow, just give me ether.com. Check it out. And if any of you are interested in just giving me ether, pff, gosh. If, if all I need to do is make a website for you and throw some silly words on there, buzzwords, just let me know. I'll do it for you for some ether. I'll make you a website for some ether. How about that? How's that sound? All right, guys. Uh, lastly, just wrapping up, uh, there was a uh, change.org uh, petition for Amazon to start accepting Bitcoin. Um, we need to be very realistic about this. Uh, they got... Uh, 5,300 supporters. They didn't even reach the maximum. I'm kind of disappointed. I found out about it when it was over. We need to really be realistic about it. Jeff Bezos knows what Bitcoin is, guys. He knows all about cryptocurrency, blockchain technology. You think he's living under a rock? That dude's trying to change the world and essentially take it over. He absolutely knows what the stuff is. Um... Amazon will accept these things when they're good and ready. Now, when that day comes, it will validate everything that you and I believe in, but it's not happening anytime soon. All right? It's just not. So, control your expectations um, of, of this happening. Now, who will accept? Ratukin or Alibaba? They are exponentially, exponentially, guys, more likely to start accepting Bitcoin for payment than Amazon. 
okay? So, that's that. That's that's my take on this. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's just catching up uh, from yesterday's video. Again, that got deleted. Apologize for that. And uh, if you, after this episode, if you want to go and see what I have to say about the markets and the blood in the streets, I have a live stream I did earlier today, so go check that out as well. There'll be a link at the end of the video. I want to thank everybody. for uh, We did it. We did it. We hit um, 300 on Steam It. Thank you so much to uh, the community over there. You guys have been amazing. Um, I can't believe it. can't believe that. I, I was blown away when I hit 100. I was like, what is going on? And it's like, it's crazy. So I really appreciate the support. Um, I'll try my best to keep the news coming, even on days like today when everyone is, uh, man, if you own cryptocurrency, you, let's be real, you lost money today, unless you're shorting the market, in which case, stop trading on margins, please, do not trade on margins, all right, guys, so that's it, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, as always, please subscribe, I am so close to 2,000, my goal is to do it this weekend, but my video got deleted, and I'm, I'm losing my momentum, and um, man, I got so close. So if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe to hear more. Um, also, uh, likes and comments and all those things. Um, so that's pretty much it. I am the King of Dew, guys. And uh, as always, may the force be with you.